What if you woke up one day and found out you're living in the wrong year? Would you believe it? That's the chilling proposition at the heart of the phantom time hypothesis. This theory, brought to light by German author Heribert Illig, suggests that we're not in the year we think we are. Illig, a respected historian and member of a society dedicated to re-examining human history, proposed a mind-boggling idea. Almost 300 years of the Middle Ages never happened. According to Illig, these years were merely added to our calendars by influential rulers of the time, including the Holy Roman Emperor Otto III and Pope Sylvester II. So, according to this theory, you might be living in the 18th century. Shocking, isn't it? Why would anyone add 297 years to history? Let's delve into the reasons. The theory suggests that they wanted to make their reigns appear grander and to link their rule to the significant year 1000. In other words, they wanted to seem more important than they really were. Heribert Illig, the man behind this theory, backed up his hypothesis with four main arguments. Firstly, he claimed there was no historical evidence for the period from 614 to 911 AD. Secondly, upon examining Roman architecture, it appeared not as old as previously thought. Thirdly, during the revision of the Gregorian calendar in 1582, mathematicians noted a discrepancy of three days, which Illig argued represented the missing three centuries. So apparently, we lost three centuries in the revision of the calendar. Or did we? The phantom time hypothesis is not without its critics. Let's look at the other side of the coin. Many historians and scholars argue against this theory, pointing to a wealth of records from the early Middle Ages that validate the existence of these years. From royal lineage to architectural marvels, the proof of these three centuries is hard to deny. But Illig's theory goes even further, boldly claiming that Charlemagne, a powerful Roman emperor whose influence extended widely, never existed. He asserts that Charlemagne's history is a complete fabrication, an audacious statement that has been met with much skepticism. While the phantom time hypothesis remains largely unaccepted, it certainly provides food for thought. What if the year you think you're living in is a lie? 